Welcome to Secret City Mini Golf in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. I'm your host, the Atomic Soul, and we are at this lovely little abandoned park. This location was purchased back for renovation in 2012. It's been a good three years, and they have cleaned it up a little bit, but nothing has actually been done to the place. Uh, this location has existed for a good 20 years and has been abandoned for about 10. Maybe, well, actually about 15 to 20 years abandoned at this point and has existed since, I'd say at least the 90s, so about 25 years. Now, this is an 18-hole course, I believe. Uh, there is another spot that the owners, whoops, being left-handed doesn't help with videos. The owners who purchased this are going to try and create another 18-hole course nearby. Lovely water feature. <laughs> Surprisingly clean, I would say. This location has some batting cages here that have certainly not been kept up. Truth is, though, if someone wanted to come in here and have some fun, I would say they could just pitch balls, but uh, the lack of screen would be an issue. However, the buildings are still standing. Luckily, in this area, we do not have a big issue with vandals. So no one has defaced the buildings. The course does still stand. So you could actually just randomly come in here on your own and play putt-putt if you wanted. No one would stop you, I'm sure. It's a very small and... As you can tell, it was designed back in the, heck, it might have been in the 80s. I can't find any actual details on the old place that was here. be a little bit hard to knock a ball into that hole, though. The design here, though, is very crappy, to be blunt. As I said, it's been a very long time since this place was built. They weren't very creative on the designs. Hopefully when the new owners do decide to try to renovate the place, they will actually do some constructive and creative designs with it. This is really, you walk five feet and you're at the next hole, that's kind of lame. I've been driving by this place a lot, and when I saw that someone had purchased it, I had hopes that they would get it and restore it and do a good job. Uh, when I was watching them work on this, they were cleaning it out, getting rid of all the junk that was here. And, uh, you know, one person working on it can't do too much at that point, I guess. Water features in the game. <laughs> I'm sure parents loved that when they came across it. Another useful ball. I want to win, but I can't win. Nobody wins this game. Yeah, back in the day before all the electronics were around, playing putt putt was huge. There were two of these in town that I remember, surprisingly. Uh, one was on the other side of town. And I think I, when I was a kid, I went to it and not this one, to be honest. I only remember doing it once. If I did it more than that, I don't know. But, yeah. Nowadays, you have handheld units that provide more entertainment than the short distance these balls would travel. 
the likeliness of it being wildly popular is slim nowadays. However, it would be nice for the community if it would, along with trying to get younger generations to get out of the house and interact with the world around them. Hmm. See, so, yeah, there's some old pot pot pieces that are still together. Remember, folks, if you go to a place, only enter if it's open. Do not force your way into a location, because that would be breaking and entering. <clears throat> you know, one of the downsides of Oak Ridge is that there really is nothing for people to go and do. There are no arcades. There are no malls currently. The only form of local entertainment you have is in the way of sorry, in the way of a movie theater. If you don't go to the movie theater, you have nothing else to do. Simpson Line. KUB according to request financial check estimate for Walmart's Georgia job. Hmm. For sales, Skytech 32,000. Andy Lone Breezel Cage. Partner will handle it. Will call back 626. Obviously, they never call back. I wonder if these are old daily income values. $50 a day, $14 a day, 77 or 766 by the middle of that month. Obviously, they weren't doing too well if that was original, although I highly doubt that from the age of the board. The building looks like it's still in great shape, though. So no wonder it didn't get torn down. Again, this is Secret City Mini Golf, purchased to be built and said to be open within weeks back in 2012. We are entering into year 2015, and as you just saw, little has been done beyond clearing away the brush. However, the buildings that still stand appear to be in good shape. Um, there's very little golf course to dig up if someone wanted to remove it and build a new one. So, this being right about in the middle of town, the exception of the 20-year dead mall, might be a good place for someone to start some form of entertainment location. Until then, let's hope the people who own this may actually get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Atomic Soul, and I hope you have a good day.